Yo, yo, listen, I just stole this camera. I believe that it's got a YouTube show. I want to be on it. This is my show. My name is Jay something, so get ready. Here we go. This is, this is Bad PR. Una Pagen. Who is it? Yes, yes, yes. Now, Steve Madden, we trust. It's another day in the life of Pam. Morning guys, I hope everybody is well. Today is Monday and I'm starting a 30 days of wellness thing where I embark on this journey where I exercise, eat better, pray, meditate as I wake up and basically just try and do better for myself and for my productivity and for my businesses, right? So I'm really excited for this journey because um it's not a new concept, but it's new to me in the sense that, like, I am deliberately planning the days. I've lived a life where I felt healthy, energized, and purpose-driven, but, like, I haven't done all of these things all at once. So, all of these things, meditation, reading, um, exercise, productivity, planning your days, and all of that stuff. So, I want to see how it's going to go. And if this 30 days becomes really successful i'm gonna bring you guys in on the next one and we can say i and i'll create a proper schedule for everybody instead of just like telling you guys about this thing and you guys are figuring it out with me you know what i'm saying i'm trying to figure it out myself and then i can come back to you and say hey this is what we're doing welcome to enjoying everyday life with new york times best-selling author joyce meyer on today's program, Joyce will be teaching from her series, How to Survive Change. <laughs> you want God to help you in five years or now? And I think most of us would not even feel right praying like that. Well, I can't demand that God do it now. Well, I'm not demanding, but I'm going to ask. I, I know I'm only about a half an hour to an hour. Actually, I'm about an hour into this. 30 days of wellness but what i already am liking is that i don't roll out of bed and i have a plan for the day so i planned my day yesterday already or last night before i slept and i feel like it's one thing to wake up late but it's also one thing to wake up without a plan because today i had planned to wake up at seven but i ended up waking up at like quarter to eight and instead of feeling like oh my gosh i've already wasted 45 minutes of the time that i had planned i kind of feel like let me chase all the things that i was supposed to do this morning with that 45 minutes and it feels good it doesn't feel like oh my goodness i am late do you get what i'm saying you know and i'm chasing the day with all the things that i was supposed to do and it feels good so i think that's the one thing i can note so far but obviously it's very early to to know what this 30 days is going to do for me but i know for a fact that it's going to do me good if this 45 minutes is anything to go by so now i'm fixing my wig because i don't know this new spray that Sunny used i don't know the spray Actually, when you don't install with glue, to be quite honest, it doesn't stick gangak. But get, I prefer this because you are our glue. Glue and my hairline don't go together. Don't go together. By the way, this is my favorite hair tool of all time. Like, I am obsessed with this hair tool. Uh, I've had it for about three, four years now. And it's the best thing since sliced bread, really. I got it from a Philips campaign that I was doing. And basically, on days where I don't feel like straightening my hair, I am hitting two birds with one stone. <laughs> uh, it's basically a brush, but it's hot. So you don't have to hair dry your hair. You don't have to straighten your hair. And you certainly are brushing at the same time. It's legendary. It's look, 
look my hair just woke up just by me doing this do you see that i'm obsessed with it but obviously if i want to curve my ends i can just come in with a straightener and just curve the ends and then i'm done but like it's legendary i have an appointment for laser cavitation yet again guys i'm really serious about getting rid of my stomach fat <laughs> So I'm going to laser cavitation again. Um, I paid for four sessions. I think this is session number three. So that's why I have to go so often so I can finish my sessions. Um, coupled with gym, it's really going to be sensational. I didn't eat. And the beauty of me just doing this 30 days of wellness thing is that I'm going to make mistakes. Mistake number one is definitely not eating. Um, but like, as long as I'm moving forward. But let me see if there's wheat bakes in the fridge. If there, oh, sorry, in the cupboard. If there's wheat bakes, then I can just eat wheat bakes. I don't feel like special K, but eating something is better not, than not eating. So if push comes to shove, I'll just have special K. So yeah. I feel so, so gorgeous. I feel so light as well this morning. My mom says she really likes this hair on me. She says it looks like it's my hair, but also it just suits me the most. I couldn't agree more. There's one thing about my helpers. I <laughs> <laughs> as long as the clothes are neatly packed like they they they're like whatever and and the biggest issue with the way that they pack for me is that i can never find where anything is you see a sports bra with a jersey and you're just like bro what am i supposed to do but anyway I must actually get a person who organizes closets. The person who did my closet the last time now lives in Bali. She left, he left South Africa. Okay, but la, we'll figure out what we're wearing. Yo, what a, what a morning. Firstly, I got up in the morning and I meditated, prayed and read the word of God. And right after that, I that's when I started the camera, got ready, showered, and then I left to go and get my tummy done. Uh, the lady was asking if I can see a difference, but I just wanted to show you guys. Ooh, I just wanted to show you guys how I look. This is my tummy at the moment, and this is what I'm getting rid of. Yeah, like my tummy fat. Because I have a small bum, so I can't have a tummy that's too big for my bum. Um, but anyway, I did that. After laser cavitation, I went to get some groceries at um, the shopping center and then I went to a fruit and veg market. And right after that, I went to, before the fruit and veg market actually, I went to uh, look for spaces for my business. And uh, it's looking really positive, but right now I think what's ringing in my head, the way the spaces are so expensive, is that the way I'm thinking in my head is I am applying the same teaching that I heard in the podcast I was listening to uh, by Joyce Meyer. And she basically was saying that having faith is not you saying, oh, I hope it happens. It's like leaving and uh, 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 believing and leading with faith and is believing that it's actually going to happen. It, there's a very, very, very strong, compelling reason why it should work. So there's a really like strong, compelling reason why it should work. So I think that's the kind of thinking that I have been applying because the spaces are really, really, really expensive like super expensive but at the end of the day i do need them and they have to speak to my brand they have to speak to everything that i stand for and of course you can go cheaper but cheaper doesn't always mean best so that's kind of like what i'm battling with but like i'm really hopeful that we will find a space and a space that is big enough and a space that is um going to accommodate us for the time but anyway 
Honeycomb is also launching today on the website so there's just a lot happening but I'm also trying to keep myself calm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat while I unbox and then after unboxing and doing that I'm going to check on the graphic designer to see like what's up what's happening but uh, what is what is also really exciting my my uh, web developer was testing the website just now so it's, he's probably like gonna call me very soon to say hey let's go through the site one more time I'm really excited I'm really excited honeycomb is growing and honeycomb is getting bigger the amount of money that we oh, why am I saying we? I like to say we I really want to know who is that we who's paying for the websites eh? I want to know who's that we the amount of time the money I am paying for the website is yeah when i got the quote i was like what on earth is this guy gonna do with this much money websites cost a quarter of this but now that he's done the website i'm literally like now i know he is so brilliant there's so many small things around the website that make you feel like oh my goodness that is a special touch that is so dope there's so many things on the website that make you feel like oh my goodness like it's different. You can see it wasn't done on, um, what's that website um, where people can make their own websites and even with no experience, you can just like maneuver it and ha have a generic website, you know, like you can see that it was not done like that. You can see it was coded. You can see there was a lot of thought process that went into it. So I'm really, really proud of what's happening on the Honeycomb website. I hope you guys enjoy the experience as much as the guy who created it enjoyed making it and as much as I love the website I think I'm also very biased because it's my website but I also think he did a flip an amazing job like worth every single cent which reminds me I have to pay him today anyway let me show you what I'm eating I've been chatting up a storm oh no yeah I recently saw like this is a thing to like have your meal that is it has nothing to do with fruits and strawberries and have it with strawberries guys I recently started adding lemon to my to my avo it tastes like guacamole not quite because there's no onions and whatever else but it's amazing Guys, I've been playing around with the idea of doing intermittent fasting. I don't know. Because I always just eat late. So why not be intentional about it? I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. But I'm also thinking, if I go on an intermittent fasting diet, it means that I won't eat oats. And I want to eat oats. I love oats. And also it's good for you when you're going to the gym. Anyway... I'm going to show you guys what I bought from Woolies this past week. Uh, no, not Woolies. I went to Sanson City and bought a couple of stuff. Not because I needed them. It's just because I needed some much needed retail therapy. But obviously, I did that within parameters because I couldn't do overdo it. But anyway, Woolies. When you go to Woolies, always buy these t-shirt bras. Like, don't place. T-shirt bras, they go for 200 rand. And to be quite honest, they really save you. And they're not, not as sore as other bras. Like, I really like these t-shirt bras. It's 200 bucks. And, yeah. I usually don't check the price of um, underwear when I buy it. Because whether you like it or not, you need it. Do you get what I'm saying? But uh, the t-shirt bras have like $1.99, like a big $1.99 there. So, I bought this underwear. It's one of those like tummy hugging underwears because I don't have one of those and I usually need them for my dresses. So, a little nip and tuck for those days where you need your tummy to be sucked in. 
and then I bought I mean I bought these okay why did I buy these okay nice I bought two <laughs> oh I think I also have um, another t-shirt bra like this I live by these t-shirt bras from Woody so I have two t-shirt bras that look like this so I think that's why I bought two of these and then I bought camis I actually don't have camis I don't know why I don't have camis so yeah I'm in my gogo -go era back to basics just bought myself camis so yeah that's about all the underwear shopping that I did I think everything was uh, a thousand rand or less I don't know I actually don't know that. I would be lying yeah, it's just less than a thousand rand. Next. Next stop, we went to Jo Malone. So, Jo Malone has a limited edition um, range that they're promoting right now. And I got this on a really good special. It was 25% off, but it was only 50 mils. It wasn't um, a bigger one. It was sad. But, like, look at that right and then let's open it together it's called the joe malone rose water and vanilla let me tell you this is the best smelling uh, bit floral cologne i have smelt in a while like it has like a floral notes in it vanilla as well rose water yeah smells absolutely amazing i'm obsessed with it and yeah i'm gonna definitely and it's also like one of those where they will never come back they'll never make it again so i really thought i should get it and then they put some um, testers in there which is always nice i love testers because that will kind of tell you what your next perfume or purchase i also went to camera land to buy myself a uh, stand for my lantern it's a tripod for my lantern because I don't know what happened to mine and this thing is like just over a thousand rand I think so kind of makes me mad that I lost the first one I don't know where it went I really don't know where it went but anyway it's here now there it is. And then we're going to go to Zara. It's even like opening up because there's a lot of stuff. Not a lot, a lot, but like, yeah. Skims was found what? Shaking, baby. I found this. And there was a gray one as well, but I just didn't know what I'd wear the gray one with at that time but now in retrospect i should have gone back to buy it but there's a gray one um this was on special it was like less than 150. so i was just like why not i can chill around the house with it depending on how long it is but if it's short enough i can wear it with boots or even replace this uh tights and top with this so i was like it's a good buy and then the sweater I really needed a sweater, okay? I needed a sweater. You can never go wrong with having sweaters. I can even wear the sweater with these tights right now, so yeah. And then, a moment of silence for these. I hate kitten heels, let it be known. But these, they're so cute. They're giving very elegant. Yeah. And then, this blazer, I bought it for Afrimax because um, we're shooting an episode this Friday and I think this is maybe the blazer that I want to wear. But yeah, this is the blazer and then look at how I'm going to style it. I'm going to wear these and this crop top, look at the crop top, this crop top, how cute. This is a crop top that I'm going to wear. I really like it. And it was like 250 as well. Yeah, and then this. Like it's a direct match. This crop top and the shoes are literally a direct match. So I'm loving it. Like, like McDonald's. And then, 
guys but also this blazer i got it for 600 bucks i don't know what's the previous pi price but like i got it for 600 bucks and i don't know when i'll need it and yeah i just said like let's go baby let's go and then i went to buy some body oil from zara i currently do have a body shimmer but it's very potent there's too much shimmer that it stains the clothes so i really like how this is literally body oil so it's body oil you put it on and you can see a little bit of glitter and shimmer and it's not too much because my shimmer is literally just shimmer and it makes you look very not well put together <laughs> so yeah i've got some body oil this is it Ooh, and then i got myself these earrings yeah like these earrings these are cute and then i bought myself a perfume that I can use when I am going to sleep or going uh, to the gym it was it wasn't special it was like 259 really 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 excited to try this out it's called cashmere rose I never buy Zara perfumes I really never buy Zara perfumes I used to but and if indo when you are wearing it upume Two hours and you have to reap and you not really but i think for bed sometimes you don't want a really strong and lasting smell i don't want to lie if it's too strong and it's too potent and it lasts it, it does sometimes just like give me a bit of a a thing i don't know like it suffocates me when i'm sleeping so i'd rather have something like really soft subtle and I know it won't just like overpower me when I'm sleeping, but like, I like this. Oh, wow. Wow. It smells so good. Impressed. Okay. Next up, I went to H&M Home. I just needed new towels and I just went around H&M Home. And then I discovered something. But let's start with the towels. The towels, let me share a secret with you. The towels, let me share a secret with you, okay? The towels are 149 Rand for the bath towel. And guess what? They're going up to 250 Rand next week. They were not on sale. They just realized they made a mistake. But I caught them on their mistake. Guys, the quality of these towels. Oh my goodness. I know for a fact that at home I was going to make these 400 Rand each. Just for the bath towel. So yeah. Then you hang them there like that. They even have this hook thing. You can hang them. And they're stunning. I love mint green. I love mint green. My bedding right now is mint green. And then it also has a hand towel, and the hand towel was like 129. Imagine the difference between the hand towel and the bath towel is 20 bucks, and it's so much bigger. But anyway, there also has a low hook thing. And then I bought the nude version, and let me tell you. I'm obsessed I'm obsessed and then I didn't get the hand towel for these because they'd ran out so I just bought guest towels and they're 129 for two as well but like the guest towels feel really lush as well and I'm just gonna put them in my bathroom because it doesn't really matter and then I found a cute gown I just found a cute robe this was like a very cute summery one I think it's going to be very useful for when I do my makeup or when I just step out of the shower. So I love this. And the price was $3.99. And it's longish. It's longish. It's not too short. And then one last thing. I don't even remember what this is. Ooh, it's a candle. I love their pricing on their candles, by the way. 
The pricing on the candles are really good. Yeah, and it's dark leather scented candle. It smells funny though. Mm. It smells like leather. It really smells, it smells like leather. Okay. I am about to have a snack because I'm starving. <laughs> I'm hungry, but I don't think I'm supposed to have a whole meal because it's around 5 p.m. right now. And if I'm hungry at 5 p.m. and then I eat a full meal, by 9 p.m. I'm going to be hungry again and I won't be able to eat a proper meal. So I'm just going to have rice cakes with some peanut butter. Peanut butter! And some apples. Yeah. And did you today I went to get my laser lipo done. I have to be drinking water and I can't eat too heavy. So there's that. This is such an elite snack. Like, guys, can you imagine? In my previous vlog, I literally said, oh, Koso people are such elite people. And I alluded to a story that I was telling. Did someone not comment and say, that sounds tribalistic? Um, like, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How are you saying Kosa people are superior? Does it mean that other people are not superior? First of all, don't do that. But I was just like, you know what? I want to learn how to learn how It's not my age. So I was just like, you know what? I ain't find nobody. But anyway, no negative energy in my 30 days of wellness. Mm. Peanut butter tastes amazing. Guys, this is the best snack you'll ever have when you're on a diet. You either add banana or apples. I think... Uh, apples have less sugar i don't know maybe it's just me but to you guys fitness bunnies please tell us which one has more sugar apples or bananas especially granny smith apples they don't taste as sweet as a banana would mm. 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 delish Hey guys, so we're gonna do a first look at the Honeycomb Hair website. <laughs> the web developer is so nervous. Now I'm starting to get nervous because why are you nervous? But it's gonna be good. Let me post website launch Monday 17th July. It's gone, it's going guys. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Okay, I'm about to post to say we're launching the website. And we're launching it just now, Gisana, in two hours. God, I'm only posting now. Okay, gone. First post gone. I should have invited myself as a collaborator. But it's fine. First post is gone. At six, I'm going to post another one. Okay, now let's go through the website. Going, going. Oh, just so well. <laughs> wow, guys, time to act different. Okay, talk your talk. My website. But there it is. Focus on here. I didn't get good design. I didn't often focus. Ugh. Launch offer site wide. Oh, yes. So, let me show you. On the phone, the text is, yeah. is too big. Um, maybe you can make the f font smaller for, for, for the phone. Okay, let me just so it fits into one line. 
me see. Oh, did it did it drop down one line? Yes, it dropped down one line. I think it would be uh perfect. And then there's uh products tagged under anyway. Um first look at the side, it looks amazing. Uh, but I just want to make a couple of changes because obviously you have a vision for the website on the phone and a vision for the website on the um, computer and it's different and I want to make sure that it's a different kind of different that I like so yeah okay I can oh here's the website on the laptop wow looks amazing let's see let's reload it you network yes 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 that's all guys i am so proud okay the network is really bad but um there we are don't even freaking play with me what a creative genius <laughs> oh god you are incredible you are amazing you are yo oh, god is amazing God is incredible. I cannot believe how amazing God is. I see his hand, his presence in my life, and it's impeccable. The website again. Guys, the website keeps crashing. People are viewing it at the same time. Like, Joe, I I'm not telling you guys stories. Check. Check. hey mornings i hope everybody is well today is a good day it's also a really big day because it's the barbie movie premiere the question is is pam going because do i have an outfit i'm going to my fitting right now and it sounds like the design is not done so i am a bit worried but in the same breath yo been to Goa this morning guys I had those Asian uh, noodles ramen noodles oh my god but simultaneously I'm actually really happy I had them because it kind of cleanses my system to have my tummy run obviously but yo it was not ideal it was not ideal but anyway this is also day three of uh, 30 days of wellness and how do I feel Yesterday, I it was not a day for wellness. It was not. Uh, I did not. Yeah, I, yesterday was not a good day. Today is a good day, day though. And I think the key to building new habits is not giving up and trying every single day. You know, so I think um, that's what I'm really excited for. So we're going to the fitting right now. And hopefully, we're going to have a dress today. I also have a radio interview today. have to organize for my dog to go to his next dog school. So there's quite a bit happening and I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. And yeah. Ooh. Okay. Wow, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I just got back from my fitting. I am 10 out of 10 happy. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is how we're going to cover my nipples. So I don't like the nipple, um, the cups, the bra cups. They don't look as nice. They're taking away the, the water effect of the dress. The dress is very, oh, it's very glitz glam and also looks like i'm in water so i just don't want to take that away i'm going to be wearing my really really um big curly wig and i'm really excited for that and yeah i'm going to be wearing a curly wig i'm going to make it super wet and then yeah i'm super excited so now i'm gonna go to do my hair and right off to hair um but i'm also gonna start taking a meeting now at 11 but hair is also like five minutes out so yeah it's a good day i have to book a photographer i haven't even booked makeup but i know for a fact that we're gonna have a good day today so yeah <laughs> No, 
mom and Santon to get me a pair of shoes that I will be wearing tonight. Let's go, honeys. Okay, so I'm now at Zola school. I am basically here to pack him up and get him ready for his next school. I'm going to leave him here, but um, I just have to drop off the bed and a new blanket and this feeder. I got a feeder for any dog moms out there. I got a feeder for our little doggies. But knowing my dog, he's probably gonna like hit this entire thing. But you put the food in there, flip it over, and then keep feeding them like open and closing, like that way, that way, that way. Cool, right? One thing about my dog, <laughs> but also I got this really cute little blankie, and then this is the bed. So yeah, what a mom. <laughs> <laughs> Tanda at work. It's good to see Tanda at work. <laughs> Other than butters. Okay? Go and I do a lot of I'll Time to get dressed. Okay. Here's Barbie. Hi, Ken. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I'm breathing. In. It's not okay, even that one, tight. Two, Yes, now it's tight. It's tight. Okay. Okay, it's lifted. Three. Okay, and then we can push them back in. My hands are cold. It's okay. As long as the titties are sitting right. Almost there. Yeah. This is beautiful. Perfect. Can I see the detail, the heart? I might say, oh, taste <laughs> You're right, this hair is giving superstar Barbie. It's actually giving, it's very nice and bushy and big, it's there in your face. Wow. Oh, my mom is outside. <laughs> I didn't know that part. <laughs> oh. I actually didn't realize. But now it's clinging on to my outfit. Ning and Zelia's very baby tuna. This tattoo pop. Ning and Zelia's very baby tuna. This is Lele B with an extra two bundles that I can't handle. I'm not selling it with extra three bundles because you guys are going to come back to me and say, but the wig is falling off. It's falling off even on my head. So. Would have loved to sell it to ya. Can you call me at the back? And see maybe. Chocolate Barbie. I'm a chocolate Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Ken. A Puma Barbie says it was in the Why did this event have to be at Mall of Africa? Remind me again. Because wow. When I look at international events, I always notice there's like a golf cart roaming around ready to take people from, from one point to the other. But, sana SA, we need those golf carts. Because also, Utengyo Steve Madden, what do you expect? Steve Madden. And guess what? Steve Madden has the best shoes in the game. I saw the singer, what would Steve Madden? And guess what? He wasn't lying. I have to lock my card. Look at my shoes. How cute are they? I think they are similar to the shoes that were in the Bonang Mateba collection. 
and I'm absolutely obsessed. They're very similar. Actually, it's the same shoe, but it's a different colorway. Those ones were rose gold. These are pink, but I'm obsessed. You go, Steve. Go, Stevie. Go, Stevie. Go. Go, Stevie. Go, Stevie. Go. Hello, Pucho. Hey, how's the cinema, EP? It's cinema. So, in the end, and you're packing up here? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, I think about me. I'm going to ask. Tell put the entrance seven. Just have to be careful. No, it's me, babe. It's me. It's my time. Don't do that. Okay, there's seven. Hi, Bo. Where's the turning point, la? Hi, Bo. What you got, the skin Kuluma no Kuluma Naba because what on earth? This is casting. Entrance seven, let's go, baby. Where are you? They keep pushing. Go back. Let's see which shoe works better. Guys, believe it or not, this one works better, this one. So, wearing it. Let's go, guys. Okay. We're waiting for Steven and team. I don't know if Rendani's coming, but he should be. So, it's Steven, Megan, and Rendani. There they are. So, I want them to check the pic. Take pictures of me like I, I look good because I do for once you guess who's early <laughs> technically you're not early you just said six technically okay and I live across the road so <laughs> oh, that's yeah. amazing it's good to see you
Aïe aïe aïe, il est torse Juste pour avec lui Ivo no, Bond has his favorites. The face, the body. I haven't seen the toes. That's the one thing I'm way too excited to go. I'll give you, I'll give you the face, I'll give you the body, I'll give you personality. The personality. Toes, then I know. That's also a papa. It's my ass showing. We can. We can. We can. We can. I figured everyone is going to come as Bobby. So I'm just as well come as Ken. We can in a bomb shot. Yes. Yes. Like you're going to love the bomb shot. Ah, he said a bomb shot. The bomb shot. This is literally the same length. I will. I will. Hi guys, I am Popo Kumete K and I am doing a takeover <laughs> on Pamelum Tango's YouTube. <laughs> no, I ain't the height difference, no? No. No. Hi, I'm Baba. I'm going to fish on your ship. Who's that? I'm going to present yourself. Oh, yeah, that's all. No, this is bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to shop. I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to go to the shop. Go can you go Hello, San Bonoine. Welcome to Pamlam Tanga's vlog. We are currently at Mall of Africa here to screen or view or watch the Barbie a movie. You are standing here with Baba and Kenneth the Mashaba. A <laughs> movie to learn. Pam, where is your hair from? Honeycomb honey. Eight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you, girl. Say hi. Yes. Say hi to to the booth. Thanks. Hey, hey, girl. My bum is so cold. Oh, so serves you right. I will kill everything. you can cause when you don't go out anymore. I don't. Because you don't go out anymore. I don't. It only goes out when it's Guys, it's not live. Oh, goodie bags. Do you know how many times I bump into my I don't let her money. Don't get it. Tell me. Tell me. Guys, I told you. You know, I just let her was like, let her go. I had a dream where I bumped into my own This is This is bad PR. I literally, I I Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Hey guys, I am back from yo the street. We went to opera after that last clip and yeah, we chilled there for a bit and also because I had no electricity and I was starving. I went to opera. So now that the electricity is back, I'm back. <laughs> but I'm also going to warm up some food. I had two slices of pizza at opera, but I'm going to eat the food that my mom gave my sister to give me. So I'm really excited to have that. Um, while I warm this up, I'm going to change and... What else am I going to do? Change and get into something warmer i showered before i left so as much as i do feel dirty again but like yeah and then in terms of uh barbie the movie or the pr around barbie 
this is one of the greatest PRs like runs in history. It's up there with Adele. It's up there with Adele and what she did with her last album. Uh, it was an album drop. Her PR is amazing. I feel like Barbie was up there as well. Um, obviously, Adele is a person could never be as big, but like it was as just like phenomenal. But other than that, I the movie itself, I Barbie, Barbie, that's okay. There's a point where Bobby was crying. She said, I'm not beautiful anymore. I'm like, girl, you are the girl that we thought like was the idea of beauty, you know? You can't change that now. You can't all of a sudden come back and say you're not confident anymore. Ah, you find a little confidence. So I said, hey, you have blue eyes, um, petite body, everything was perfect. Yeah, well, this was fuck. This was fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, I'm going to sleep after this. But game on Kulule. And let's see, guys. Oh, starving as always. Guys, I need a husband. My, I need to unzip. And the bar is very low, guys. The criteria to be my husband is to just be able to unzip. Yo, I pull me, guys. How, how? Dick security. I'm not even kidding. Oh. Can call him intercom. Did he hey? Cousin Okay. Three, two, one. Ugh. Guys, I don't even need a man. Ah, guys. I hope I don't get like a yeast infection. From this underwear. It was literally in my coochie the whole time. Yo. Look at me. My face is looking so clean. Uh, that time I didn't do like a full on routine. But anyway. Tato. Bought me flowers. How cute. As if, it's, 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 it's as if she knew. I was actually saying like, the only thing I miss about dating or even having suitors is having someone buy you flowers for no reason. Guys, the last time I got a bouquet of flowers, I think it was ex actually from Tato. And before Tato, it was... My friend Poppy. I feel like he actually. But also because I haven't like dated in a while. Like I haven't dated since you actually. I haven't dated in a while. So if you think about it. Who's going to get me flowers? But also I think when p people do get me flowers. Even like boys. When you talk from a perspective of boys. Like, I hate how boys will get you. Like, for instance, you're trying to ask me out or whatever the case may be. And get me bouquet na na roses as E12. Come on. Come on. There's nothing I enjoy more than, like, a really good bouquet of flowers. Like, a big bouquet of flowers. And I wish boys could go out of their way to buy a good bouquet of bouquets of flowers like this. This is a good bouquet of flowers. Like, well, my 40, 30 roses. This is a good bouquet of flowers. Boys will go and net florist and buy the cheapest roses they can find, which is 12 roses. First of all, net florist does not have the best roses in the market, firstly. Secondly, the worst is May 12. Yo, nothing irks me more than that. Like, do you don't buy 12 roses. Like... You'd rather, because I think 12 roses on net floors would be like 400 rand. If you live in Joburg, I will give you a tip. Go to an actual florist in Joburg for 250 rand. You can get a proper bouquet of flowers for 250 rand. Rather than going on net florist and buying a really hungry bouquet of flowers. You get what I'm saying? Like it's really, for me, like... 
yo, like flowers are such a grand gesture for me. Like in our school thing is being means as soon as overwhelmed, as soon as you see in day flowers, like they must be a bit heavy. Like, oh my god. Like you get what I'm saying? If not heavy, but get they must be a really beautiful arrangement. Like I buy my roses for 250 Rand when I'm gifting people. I don't go and need florists and buy flor uh, flowers for four four hundred Rand. What does he twelve? embarrassing okay flowers e12 it's always ladies who buy the best like bouquets of flowers but boys yo they'll buy you e roses as e12 it's one like i had a situation where like i had someone in my life they would go to woolies and every time they went to woolies they'll buy me a bouquet of flowers i found that quite thoughtful because you were not going to buy roses, but it was a by the way thing. And you went to Woolies, found roses on your way out and you purchased them for me. That is super special. That's when it's like 12 roses are super special. It's like, oh my God, that's amazing. We all get a good florist. I forget details. I don't know. I don't know. I roses not 12. Like, bro. I'm both staying even clean. Keep it there. I'm be a go Woolies. Kono Woolies, the one in Santon. You can actually buy like three bouquets of, of flowers and then they put them together for you and then they wrap them, they put a bow and it's way cheaper than net flowers. You know, net flowers, you're taking roses eat off. And you couldn't have only one of them. Unless it's one of those like you are buying me like a teddy bear. Yes, I need flowers. That's fine. You're taking flowers, is it? Yo! Son! Son! It's, it's like, you know, when they say, like, you have a pet peeve, and your pet peeve is like such a stupid pet peeve or deal breaker. For me, this this is the one. Ungena Knick Flores, you're taking flowers, is it 12? That's my pet peeve. Like, it's a pet pee for me. Like, why don't you go to the florist and go buy a bouquet? Your flowers are 250 way cheaper than net florist. And it's a proper one. Yo, if you get the flowers, you feel the flowers that go from net florist, and you just, I was like, bro. At least that's you 40 funding. No, I go fair as you too. I won't get a clip because what they are seen that they're beautiful, they're looking, you know. The SE 12 back for two year born. Yo, son. So, in all in all, this is Flowers must be But anyway, my dear cookies are mandans are eating good and the lal, okay? Bye bye. Hi, guys. <laughs> Morning. It's a Friday. What a long week on this vlog. Wow, oh deep bees. But anyway, Natasha is here to do my makeup because what? A free max day today. Okay. See you guys when I'm done. Let me charge my battery for my camera so that it can last for the rest of the day. If I'm happy and I'm treated well, you will be happy. and Jengis Valo say champagne. That's what I heard today. What up? Natasha just did my face. I look like a princess. Um, I was saying to her, I actually want to come back from set and shoot shoot um, some content because look at how beats I look. Um, it's just that yo, when you're shooting TV, you can go 4 p.m. After 4 p.m. But anyway, um, we are shooting Afrimax today. Oh, today we're shooting Afrimax and then. Ah, and I'm by lipstick yako. Yo, yo, yo. In, in, lipstick yako. Yo, Bessendi Fagame Bogo Twain. And who's a booze and this and theirs? And this and theirs, and genuinely, I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't think. Oh, I shame. But anyway, um, so yeah, my diva say, and then after taking a bar, uh, shower, I am going to quickly go over my script again, and then I can leave because the script is long. 
I always see you sharing those videos where like makeup artists. Yeah, like, do you need help? No, I'm fine. Where did you park up the hill? <laughs> Guys, I want to show you how well bras from Woolies fit. You remember this bra that I uh, did unbox with you guys? This is a t-shirt bra from Woolies. It's 20 bucks. It's two in a pack. It's literally $1.99. You gotta get into it. Like, they're literally my favorite. Like, And they're soft because lately I haven't been wanting to wear bras for some odd reason. Like, they feel tight usually and uh, I would rather a sports bra or like a really tight cami instead of a bra. But these ones, you can never go wrong. Like, they don't feel sore. Like, they're very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I look like I have exotic features. Where's the neck hills? Cute. As for TV, I think lip laser in mobile. Fashion wise, I get it, I see it, it's fine. But for TV, unfortunately, in mobile. So I'm just like wondering now, what should I do? Guys, I don't think it's ever been this cold. I don't think so at all. You in the lava pile, Oh my god. Today I am wearing a kitten heel. I don't know whether I'm on or off the ground, but all I can say is it drives well. Because I don't drive with heels, but this one is flat, so feels good. Because I, I can't drive with heels. I actually can, but uh, I, I don't think it's legal. Um, so I prefer not to because when you're all glammed up, that's when the cops stop you. Like, like especially in the evening, for instance, they, when you're all glammed up, they think you're drunk or you're coming from a party or whatever. So that's when they stop you. Um, so they'll be able to see when you're driving with shoes that you're maybe not supposed to. I don't know how strict they are. I've never had trouble before. I've never been caught driving with a shoe that I'm not supposed to or I've never been like called out like no you're not supposed to be driving with this shoe or whatever I've never been but I'm I'm just always so cautious yeah morning morning guys okay now we just arrived at artistry in uh, Santon uh, we are almost ready to shoot it is uh, so cold I have to go over my script bunch oh has a San Zima is script who wrote that script Oh, a new one. Ah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, I saw it, I niggas. Mm -mm. But, you know, I saw it. They don't want you, know? you to be happy. But that's the thing with me. I can read people's writing. Actually. Actually. You see, when it's written by me, it's simple. Oh, hi. This business hub will allow entertainment, which is something is adding more culture to the city with yes. the street. Traditional Rwandan art featuring geometric patterns using a pigment. Natural pigment. Oh, using a pigment. Oh, 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 oh. And three. I was so shocked. You have to talk now. I keep. I try and keep all that stuff. Uh, we call it private, you know. Yes. I don't think I'm emotionally ready or mature enough to, to deal with that shit online. Yeah. But yeah. In three, two, one, walk. Tell me yeah. story. Are we going? Oh up? wait, is there a Wait, up. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus, yeah. man. How can you tell me that shit? I'm just looking for this thing. Can you guys come on set and for me, sorry? I'm feeling. There we go. That's perfect. And three, two, one, go. Yeah, one of the things that for me has like throughout the, the journey so far, it's just been trying to be 
be strategic about what, what we do share and what we don't share. I asked you the question also, how do you juggle this? It's beautiful chaos, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a shit yeah. I don't believe a lot of balance. I think my life looks balanced from afar. It does. So I said it looks chaotic. <laughs> That's Pam. It's a new video. It's another day on Afro Max. Nope. It's another day in the life of Pam. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tell me when to stop. Get away. Get away. <laughs> I should get away. I should get away. Yeah. Shazam. Oh, it's a perfect. No, I love that. Make okay, the cheers again. Any bad luck. No, you make the cheers again and turn to camera. Don't drink. <laughs> Before you drink. Okay. So, Jay, you're going to take a sip. She's not going to take a sip. You're turning to camera. Oh, I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and three, two, one, go. Chess. Yes, I don't know what to say about that. Chess. 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 I think that's I also think he likes that because he keeps reiterating, I'm a musician. I'm a musician. I'm a musician. I'm a musician. But you can ask me how you sound. Wow. 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 We only have after this the closing thing and I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to do We at work, niggas. We at work, niggas. You know, I'm about to drop my album soon, yeah. You better check it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to drop a freestyle. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's your girl, it's your girl. You know who it is? <laughs> That's how they don't know who you are. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from Santon City and what else did I have to do? Oh, we wrapped up uh, shooting at Artistry with um, uh, the Afrimax team and it was really, really nice. And then after that, I had to collect some stock for uh, my business because you guys are finishing my stock and we had 50 coupons to give to the first 50 customers to buy um, when we launched the site. Now I added an extra 50 people to buy wigs and you know what's crazy is that payday is only this coming week meaning that La 50 is going to finish so so quickly and on top of that I have ran out of packaging would you look at that I actually emailed the packaging people on Monday and they just gave me a run around now I'm in actual panic mode because beggars pili i i just hate that because you know i'm the kind of person who doesn't do like as much as people think i do things last minute i actually do things on time and then people give me a run around but i don't have time to follow up that's what usually happens with everything even with outfits even with like my gigs when i say i don't have an outfit it's because i ask the brand manager or whatever the case may be okay cool please confirm by this date just so i can plan around it so i can have an outfit or whatever day before hey um so we're going ahead going ahead d you know what I'm saying? So most of my situations occur like that. Just like packaging. Anyway, because I don't have the time to follow up. But I know that I've told you. I've called. I've emailed. Like, what do you want from me? Anyway, I just came from Steve Madden. And I bought a handbag. I returned the shoes I bought for uh, the Barbie event. And I bought a handbag instead. Because I've been wanting a bag that I can use. Um... That is not necessarily a tote bag, but also isn't like a small bag. It's like a nice medium sized bag that I can put everything in. I hate it when like I have a small bag and then I'll have to carry my um, power bank. I have to carry my tissues, hand cream, everything on the side or in the car just because they won't fit into the bag. So I got the perfect bag from Steve Madden. And then other than that, I also got uh, a pair of shoes from Steve Madden because I was gifted them. So I bought the bag and I was gifted the shoes from Steve Madden. So let's start with the shoes. These shoes, I actually initially thought I'd get them. Uh, ooh, these shoes, I actually initially thought I'd get them when um, for the Barbie event, but... 
they didn't match my pink but i definitely said i need these shoes so i managed to get them let me show you they're so barbie they remind me of mason valentino i've been wanting those mason valentino shoes i think when i travel i'm gonna buy myself like a pair of nice um luxury heels but for now and steve madden we trust <laughs> so yeah these are the shoes i can't wait to style them they're giving very high fashion so i have to bring it and then guys this bag i'm literally so obsessed with it because it's not like a tote bag that like those huge tote bags because the ted baker bag what it did to my hand because I put my life in there. I put my laptop. I put two notebooks. I put my pencil case. I, I literally put everything in that Ted Baker bag. And it almost broke my thumb. So this bag from ooh, Stevie Steve. This is still a tote bag. But it's not like as big. And it won't fit in my laptop. And all of the junk I like to carry. It will fit in like the decent stuff that I can put in. And will still make the bag manageable. So yeah. And I also went to Moja Cafe um, at uh, Santon City. First of all, they've been open for two months and I didn't know. Absolutely, I'm obsessed with anything brine meat. If you know me, you'll know that I can stop in eating everything and anything in the world, but don't stop me from eating brine meat. And what I love about Moja Cafe is that like, they cut their meat very thin, that it's manageable. It's not one of those chewy beef uh, chucks you know it's very nice and then they have the sausage the chicken wings and um, steam bread and chakalaka and that my darlings is what I'm having for dinner today I think I'm gonna have to warm it because I've been talking yeah I have to warm it but um, yeah that's what I'm having that's how I'm spending my Friday night and I think this is where I'll end the vlog unless I decide to go to the spa tomorrow but chances are I'm going to try sort out this packaging thing. I'm one of those people like I don't go to the spa to relax when in the midst of like chaos and havoc. I don't go to the spa to relax. So I don't think I'll enjoy the spa if like I have so much stress. Like I'll be on that bed thinking about my packaging woes. So I'd rather sort out the packaging issue that we have before monday because from monday we're gonna have to deliver people's orders you know and i just don't want to be in a situation where orders are not um delivered and then pam is choosing certain people to deliver early to i don't want that so yeah anywho i'm gonna go watch something which is obviously gossip girl <laughs> or young Sheldon, and then I'm going to chill, eat, and just relax. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this long vlog and spending a, a week with me. Bye.